Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got 50 Cent having the folks fuming again. You see what I'm saying? Um, somebody trying to rush little baby. Yeah, you know I mean, um, a boogie with a hoodie, um, in handcuffs. <laughs> a boogie with a hoodie in cuffs. Um, little Nas X getting uh, getting insulted on. I think he got insulted. Conor McGregor with Machine Gun Kelly and Ja Rule versus Fat Joe again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. And hey, if this is your first time to the channel, man, you know what it is. Be sure to hit that like button. It's like every other channel. Hit the like button if you're feeling any part of the content. We definitely will appreciate it. You see what I'm saying? Notification bell's waiting for you to tap it. So go on and punch that notification square in his mouth. And hit that subscribe button so you can be subscribed to the channel, fam. You see what I'm saying? It definitely helps your boy out, man. Hey, yo. Um, what, what was I going to tell you? Man, matter of fact, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, now, look. As you already know, right? Fat Joe is set to have a versus battle against none other than Ja Rule tomorrow night that's right september 14th all right now folks are wondering whether joe is going to bring 50 cent out onto the versus stage which would be monumental right like th that would be a versus to remember for real for real take a listen to what ja rule said about the possible or rather the possibility of fat joe bringing out 50 cent yo take a listen to what ja rule had to say concerning that question Again, hey, he might, might make a guest appearance Listen, that would be the dumbest thing ever. You didn't want to get in the gauntlet with me, but you want to make a guest appearance? <laughs> All right, well. I ain't well. fearing nothing, yo. And, and if that happens, then, then that just means I got to give both of them that work. That <laughs> night. So it ain't nothing. All right. All right. Well. All right, yo, look, hopefully that played, man. You see what I'm saying? Um, yo, your boy said, your boy said, you didn't want to get in the gauntlet with me, but you want to make a guest appearance? Come on, bring it on, baby. I ain't fearing nothing, yo. <laughs> Who said anything about fearing? You see what I'm saying? I think you're the only one, sir. Look, it, he, he said, if that happens, then that just means I got to give both of them that work. It ain't nothing, close quote. That man said, it ain't nothing. Look, it, it's just music, right? But wouldn't it be interesting to watch if 50 Cent came strutting out onto that stage? You know what that's like. And 50 Cent is a straight goon. I'm talking like... Invade your personal space in a whole nine yards type of goonery. You see what I'm saying? You like goonery? Goonery. All right? Uh, <laughs> yo, check this out, man. Will someone please tell me why Conor McGregor was pushed by Machine Gun Kelly? It's because Conor McGregor wanted a photo with Machine Gun Kelly. You're like, I know you didn't just try to do an Irishman accent. I did, and I don't care. You see what I'm saying? Not only did Machine Gun Kelly pull the old, you're better off finding a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but apparently he pushed Conor McGregor, who is still in recovery mode from a leg injury. Ain't that like, ain't that like attacking a handicapped man or punching someone with glasses in the in the face? <laughs> look, 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 look. That that's like, that's like, you ain't supposed to do that, man. I'm dying to hear what his reasoning was for attacking McGregor like that. Now, McGregor spilled his drink and then threw another drink at Machine Gun Kelly. You see what I'm saying? This guy's a real thug. Real real talk. You see what I'm saying? Like we, I know a thug when I see one. Anyway, look, take a look at this clip real quick. Now, after all that, right, Conor McGregor did come out and speak on the whole kerfuffle, right? And he stated, quote, absolutely, absolutely nothing. I don't know. He he showed up and I, I don't know. I don't know the guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what he told Entertainment Tonight. He said, nothing happened with me. I, I only fight real fighters, people that actually fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Close quote. Matter of fact, I'll put it back up. I certainly don't fight little vanilla boy rappers. I don't even know the guy. I don't know anything about him, except that he's with Megan Fox. Close quote, right? <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing, here's the thing. Well, apologies, if you Irish, I apologize. You see what I'm saying? Here's the thing. Almost every time I read a story about one of these dudes, okay? The story is always, this dude was acting like a complete jerk, right? So I'm kind of not shocked that, you know what I'm saying, he got pushed. You see what I'm saying? And, and the other statement I always hear is, I never realized this guy was nine feet tall. <laughs> You're like, nine feet tall? Nine feet tall. 
It's insane. Look, that's the only question I have about the Bible. I'm like, I thought David wiped out the race of giants. You see what I'm saying? This man's nine, nine feet tall. <sighs> Look, on, on this week's episode of Internet Confusion, we are not quite sure whether the red carpet interviewer insulted LNX to his face or not. He showed up in a dress, and I actually thought he was going to show up in a dress with the pregnant belly out. Okay? Um, that's how I thought he was going to show up. But... He asked the hostess or the interviewer, whatever, you know, who, whatever she is. He asked her an honest question. He said, well, matter of fact, he asked her the question of, does he look good? And this happened. Take a look. I'm happy. I look good. I look, look a little good. Listen, I'm not going to say I'm hating on the fit, but let's move on. Okay? okay. Now, in 2019. Hey, yo, look, man, you asked, man. You asked. Okay. She gave you an honest answer. All right. You look ridiculous, sir. You see what I'm saying? Next, next time. Wear something because you like it, bruh. Now, I don't try to wear it to impress us because we <laughs> are not impressed by your antics, okay? Someone's got to tell you, man. You see what I'm saying? I mean, look, there are a lot of people that ain't impressed with celeb sauce. I don't care. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But, I mean, I don't mind hearing it every now and then. If people show up in the comment section like, I don't like you, right? They just show up in there and just type that. I don't like you, right? And I'm like, man, you're going to be here tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Let's, let's let's be real with it, all right? Uh, how much time I got? Um, yeah. Right, check this out. Look, a, bo uh, a boogie, a boogie with a hoodie, right? <laughs> My boy, I, I keep saying a boogie with a hoodie. A boogie with a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Although, I mean, it looks like a boogie with a hoodie, but whatever. A boogie with a hoodie was arrested in London right before his performance. Now, the arrest was for something that the man did years ago. That's right. Apparently, over in London, they never forget. Look, I guess we should have known that when we see them putting on the matted white wigs during court proceedings, man. Looking all silly. You see what I'm saying? They love that ish. Right? It brings them back to a, a, a more whimsical time, right? A time that would have a ninja thinking, who the cuff is talking about building a time machine? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, the man posted, um, shaking my head. Sorry to everyone who came out to see me at Wireless. Uh, Cause that's like I think that was the show, right? Wireless, right? London police locked me up before I went on stage for something I was accused of two years ago. Close quote. This is what a boogie wrote on uh, Instagram. He opened it back up. He, he he said, "I'm okay, and I'll try my best to make it up to you guys." I bet the crowd. <laughs> close quote. I bet the crowd was like, "Yo, <laughs> shaking your head. You damn right you're gonna make it up to us." You see what I'm saying? We we ain't spend this harder in cash <laughs> to watch you walk away in cuffs. <laughs> Can you imagine? You you worked hard. You worked hard all week. You see what I'm saying? You was burning the midnight oil. You was you had the visor on with the pencil in your joint in your mouth. You was just doing the calculations hard. You finally made that paycheck. And then you spent it on a concert to go see a boogie with a hoodie. <laughs> and you saw a boogie with some cuffs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <sighs> you like celeb, you ain't ish. Whatever, man. Alright. Um I got a I got a great idea for merch, by the way. Oh, my, matter of fact, where are my shout outs at? Let's do the shout outs real quick. Uh, let's see. Um, yo, shout out to my boy All In. Okay, All In said, All Girl, whatever. All In said, I know you're an AK fan, celeb, but if you talk street, the streets come. You see what I'm saying? Hey, look, listen, man. I, I said this before. Okay, when the person approached me, when Sauce approached me for this channel, right? Sauce was like, Yo. You see what I'm saying? I want to do this joint like DJ Academics. And I was like, bruh, I never, I don't I never listened to DJ Academics a day in my I heard of his name, but I don't know if he plays music. I don't know what he does. But I'll just do what I do. You see what I'm saying? And then people start saying, yo, man, you like DJ Academics. And I'm like, man, whatever. I right? dude just said, yo, I like the way you read, read this joint and do it. You know what I mean? And I was like, yo, bet. Um, so somebody said Anthony Oliver, Anthony Oliver said this. He said, I love the content and I personally open YouTube hoping you either drop something new or I missed or I missed one so I could watch an episode of Celeb Source. The longer the video, the better in my eyes. Keep up the great work. Yo, shout out to you, man. We appreciate that support. You see what I'm saying? It always makes us feel good. In fact, I'm curious, man. Do y'all prefer the longer videos or the shorter videos? Because sometimes I've been seeing the videos that are like a minute long, two minutes, three minutes long, and I'm just be getting millions of views. You see what I'm saying? So am I wasting my time here? Let me know. I, I mean, real talk. You see what I'm saying? I mean, just let me know if you prefer the longer videos or the short videos. Like, what kind of, what's your time period? I ain't saying I'm going to listen. 
I'm just curious. Uh, Jeanette Sneed said, Sis is talking in circles, but I understand her perfectly. She's talking about selling your soul in the industry. Do some research, funny man, and you too will get it. Close quote. Yeah, that's right. Anybody could get it. Check this out. Jeanette Sneed. Listen, 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 and listen clearly, okay? Matter of fact, let me not do that. Any, but here, look, whenever somebody tells me to do research, I already know they don't do any kind of research. Only certain type of person says, do your research. It's someone that usually falls down a rabbit hole on YouTube or something like that, think they know everything, and then come back and say, do your research. Get the hell out of here, all right? Jeanette, um, <laughs> you know we love, we, you know we still love you. We're like family over here. Before you start crying and whatnot. All right, look, Space Ghost. Space Ghost said you did exist in 2017 and 2018. You joined June 11, 2014. So that person, so give that person credit. And then he pushed in his glasses, his Poindexter glasses, okay? And lastly, uh, Marquise Ruffin. My man said, hey, yo, bro. My girl heard your channel for the first time this morning on the way to work, and she loved it. She said, and I quote, <laughs> let's open the quote. Is this 96.5, which is our local radio station? When did we get a new DJ? And damn, he's fired to death. All right, she ain't say all that, but she said it in her heart. You see what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to Marquise Ruffin, and most definitely, shout out to your girl, fam. You see what I'm saying? She That's a woman that knows her stuff. You see what I'm saying? Oh, man. Do I have do I have enough time to give G. Bozak a shout out? Man. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. G. Bozak, I'm going to get you the mall, because I got I, I just spent too much time on the shout outs. People going to be mad at me. Check this out, look. Lil Baby was performing at a concert in North Carolina on Saturday, September 11th, when a concert goer thought, you know what? I got a great idea. I'm so caught up in the moment. Let me run up on stage and try to shake Lil Baby's hand. Then everyone will remember me for time immemorial. And this happened. Hey, yo, take a look. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, ground and pound. You see what I'm saying? Now look, now all your friends will remember you as the dude. What? What? Gosh. Ho Decline. W where was I? I don't know. Look, look. The dude got mushed. The dude got tackled. Got dragged by. You, you got dragged by your hoodie off stage. You will have that memory stay with you forever, my my good sir. <laughs> and finally. Look, look, the 20 year anniversary of 9-11 was on Saturday, right? How much time I got? I'm so sorry. I apologize in advance. Come on. My bad. Look, the 20 year anniversary of 9-11 was on Saturday. I, I still remember where I was when those buildings came crashing down, man. The joint was surreal, right? It was wild because everybody wanted to fly over to the Middle East that week and lay hands on some sand ninjas. You see what I'm saying? The joint was horrific. Anyway, 50 Cent infuriated a bunch of people when he reposted his comment on Michael K. Williams' death, right? But it was in classic 50 fashion. And as everyone walked away furious at 50, your boy came back out on some, I got one more thing to post. And, and, and you know what, right? Folks came back like, what else do you got to say, 50? Mistake number two. Number one was assuming he was going to be something different from the onset. 50 came out on Saturday and posted, quote, this day will forever be remembered. To those who lost loved ones, my condolences. Oh, isn't that touching? Then he added, hashtag Branson Cognac and Branson Leche whatever. I don't know how to say that, okay? And the people lost it. One person posted, you really need to, needed to tag your brand and use this picture? Maybe a little class. Who the hell is he talking to? Maybe a little class. The man always adds hashtags to his posts. But more importantly, with everything going on in the country, you're concerned about 50 posting a hashtag? Listen, I was watching something on Lake Lanier in Georgia last night and how it is considered haunted, right? Because of the atrocities committed there against people of color. I'm talking like after hanging folks and showing up in their, what is it, in front of their doors with burning crosses, they flooded, yes, flooded the town with water turning it into a lake now people talk about when they swim in the lake they feel like something's pulling them under the water boats capsize over the lake and y'all worried about some damn hashtag get the cuss out of here with all that you see what i'm saying <laughs> you like celeb you believe in ghosts of the dead no what paul mooney say if the ghosts of dead people were real 
the ghost of slaves would come back and F you up. Think about it. You see what I'm saying? How real is that? There are no ghosts. Hey yo, thanks for tuning in. Yo, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Somebody just leaned on my card, man. I'm about to I'm about to have to set it on them. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for celeb news.